Okay guys, uh, let me quickly quickly show you how to create a drop down like this. We have a drop down, we can select anything. Changes the title to this, uh, to select it thing. You can also just, oh I changed my mind, I want to close it back, bam. Everything is fine here. So, let's see how you can do it. Okay. Let's go to our screen. Let's hide this thing. Okay, basically, I created a container here. A container called dropdown in this case. So, let's go into it. On state one, I have the navbar with the title. I have the image which is a arrow icon that I just got from Proto-EO IO library and then I have a basic list with all these uh, items that I created and I've put it to the top and underneath uh, the navbar then I created the interaction area to cover the title and the arrow. This interaction area, uh, hold on. This interaction area takes us on top to the container's next state, which is state two. In in state two, I've dragged the list down. I changed the, I rotated the uh, the arrow, and I've uh, extended the animation to 0.5, so Proto.io nicely animates it. The rotation and the drop down. Now, uh, now here on the interaction area, I've. Uh, created the interaction to take us back to previous state. That is, as I showed you, if you change your mind, you close it, bam, bam closes nicely. Now, uh, on every item, I created an interaction which uh, on top sets the variable. Uh, I created the variable right here and called it selected router because I have the Wi-Fi routers in this case. Then uh, choose set value from item property. So which item? Well, this item that you tap on. So you select it. You select this item. It's in current container. It's uh, in basic mm -hmm. list. You access it, access its dynamic property, property of free Wi-Fi. This is the item, and which exactly property? The label, because these things, right, they are labels. And that's it. Then you execute an, a callback. And in the callback, you just change the container state to the first state. So again, so that this thing hides back and the arrow changes. Those are the things we have at the state one, right? Right. Then uh, you just uh, copy and paste this thing to all the other items. And the proto, I will just call it proto. Proto is just so smart that it actually changes from where to take the value changes it to the current item that you pasted the interaction to. So that's really neat. Then, well, okay, it goes back to state one, but nothing would happen because now we need to assign that variable to this title. And the way you do it is you go to the states interactions and on state enter, you change the property under logic then the property of current container 
navbar title. You read from variable, select the variable, and that's it. That's all you need to do here. And just uh, one quick fix for the case of when you just open and close it so that this title doesn't uh, become empty because on close we go to state one and uh, uh, we take the variable well if you didn't choose anything the variable would stay empty uh, so to do that uh, I just created a default value for the variable right here my default value so that's it guys thank you and good luck with proto it's an awesome tool